Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. Now in this video we are taking a look at the Alfero Laser 2 made by Orter. The Alfero Laser 2 is the bigger brother of the Alfero Laser 1 in terms of size as this machine has an engraving area of 390 by 390 mm and the machine comes as a kit that you have to put together. Yet most of it is pre-assembled so you only have to connect the extrusions with 8 screws and yeah, and the wires of course. The complete assembly takes well, just a few minutes and once that's done you can connect the laser to your computer and start the laser. The unit is made with high-end serial communication or COM port so in most cases when you are working on a computer that uses Windows 10 or above or a Mac OS X or Linux machine you don't need to download special drivers to see the machine popping up on your computer. Now, for the laser to work, you will also need software on that computer. And to control the machine, you can use Laser Gerbil, for example, that is freeware. Or you can choose to use Lightburn, which is paid software, but with a lot more advanced features. In this video, I will be using Lightburn, as this is the software of my choice. The Alfero Laser 2 will be sold in three versions, and they all have the same frame and motherboard, and they all work the same way, yet the laser modules used on them are different for different types of tasks. There is the version with a module that has an optical output power of 1.6 watts, which is perfect for high detailed engraving and a lot of grayscales, and then there is this high power long focus uh, throw module, which has a 5.5 watt optical power and that's made especially for cutting of plywood, pine board, paperboard, felt, etc. This laser also comes with an air assist that you can connect to a compressor for perfect clean cuts. And then at last there is this version with a high power short focus laser that is also 5.5 watts in optical power but which uses a short focus throw. This is the laser that I'm showing in this video and it's the perfect laser for both engraving and cutting capabilities. The three modules are interchangeable and they are all compatible on every Orter 24 volt laser engraver like the Afero Laser 1 and the Orter La uh, Laser Master 2 Pro. By the way, if you want to know more about the three different lasers that you can choose from, please watch the video I made about the three laser modules so you can make a wise choice if you are going to buy this or any of the other laser machines. Now the Alfero Laser 2 has a very sturdy frame that can run laser at a maximum speed of 5000 mm per minute. The laser unit is mounted on a quick release plate that can easily be moved up or down for focusing and tools to get a precise focus are supplied with the corresponding laser module. The laser uses a power adapter that supplies 24 volts at 2 amps, so the current is limited, which is much more safe than a machine that works on a lower voltage, but with a higher current, like many other brands use. Then let's talk about the safety features of this machine. The Alfero Laser 2 uses laser modules that have an optical shielding around the laser shroud. This means that the high power light is not easy to see without you standing in a strange position next to the laser. Yet safety goggles are provided and I think you should always wear them. You can only lose your eyesight once. The machine cuts the power to the laser after finishing a job or when losing a connection to the computer. So the laser won't be burning at all time if something strange happens. Compared to the Orta Laser Master 2 Pro, the Alfero Laser 2 misses the big power down knob to turn off the machine completely with just one touch of a button. Also the fire detector that is built in the back of the Laser Master 2 Pro is not available on this laser. And to be honest I don't know if that's a big thing. I didn't like the fire detector anyway as sometimes it turns off the power of the Laser Master 2 Pro while there is no power and let's be honest. When there is a fire, you are already too late and human interaction is needed. Therefore, never leave your machine working unattended and this goes for every hobby or professional laser machine. So, to be honest, apart from the big stop button, I don't miss the other safety features. Then let's talk about the results of some laser tasks that I gave to these units. Making an engraving on wood in high detail was no problem at all and, well, 
it looked very nice, just as burning an emblem in leather worked out very nice, and the image was very detailed and sharp. Cutting wood, well, it was no problem at all with the Alvero laser too, both with plywood and MDF. And engraving on a stone dish was very easy and done in seconds. And even cutting fabric like a Lee trousers was very easy to do, just like engraving on that same fabric to make a batch. Now let's talk about the things I like and don't like about the Alfero Laser 2. Now what I didn't like that much was the Y-axis gantry that is made with uh, rollers that have four wheels instead of three, of which two wheels have eccentric nuts. This makes it harder to perfectly align the wheels on the extrusions, might you ever have to do this. Also the used cable to connect the laser to the y-axis gantry is of a type that is not made to be bent many times. Now there is not much stress on this cable, but I would have liked it if the cable was used uh, with more flexible copper strains. While these complaints are no deal breakers, I think this could be improved in a later version. What I do like about this Avero Laser 2 is that the frame is extremely easy to put together, so everyone should be able to do this. Also, the fact that two stepper motors for the Y-axis are used is something that makes this laser stand out against many other models. Then, the fact that this machine can also be equipped with an offline controller, so you don't need a connected computer every time, is a very welcome feature, yet this controller is not included when you buy this laser. So, the Alvero Laser 2 is truly a machine that is a competitor to the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro when you look at the possibilities you have. And it's a bit more affordable and much easier to put together. Did you like this review? Well, please let me know in the comments. And also if you have any questions, then please feel free to ask them and I will of course answer them. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. At the time of making this video, my channel has almost reached 10,000 subscribers and that's because of you. And that's a huge milestone for me. So thanks for watching and yeah, we will meet each other in the next video. Bye.